This video is just going to be an unboxing of the actual item you receive from Amazon. I'm a regular guy, just likes computer stuff. I'm upgrading my network to 2.5 gigahertz uh, switch. I actually only have one actual device, which is my main uh, laptop, my Alienware laptop that supports 2.5. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll have to explain that in another video. But I'm upgrading the switch so that I can take advantage of that connection. So I saw this one, it was on special, it wasn't too much. It was about at the end after taxes and everything, $50 for an eight port 2.5 gigahertz switch. This, this is what you will receive. This is a detailed look at it. And when I mean details, I mean, I even do measurements of the box of the switch so that you know exactly what you're getting. So this is the top of the box. All links below, including to the Amazon webpage for this switch. I've never heard of this brand. I don't even know if it even has a brand. Steamio, Ste St yeah, Steamio, I guess. No idea, never heard of it. It's not like it's a TP link or anything, but TP links with the same ports and same memory of the switch were double to triple the price. And I hope that I don't come to the realization that that's why they're more expensive because this is gonna fail on me. So I'm hoping for the best. And um, I'll do an updated video after using it for a while to let you know, yay or nay, if it's still working. This is gonna come off my main uh, router. And it will be connected to a 2.5 gigahertz port on my router. I do these look at videos, even myself, uh, so I can remember what came. Wow, there's nothing else in the box, okay? Um, especially with power adapters, I have bags of these that I don't know where they go. So I'm afraid to throw them away. And now what I end up doing is, when I do actually keep the device, when it's too late to return it, I will with a silver Sharpie write the actual, what is for, 2.5 gig switch. Um, but what I've been doing too is that if you're watching this video and you need a power adapter or anything in detail, you actually just could come to my uh, video and see if you actually have this power adapter and don't know what it's for or if you need this power adapter, you know what kind you can buy or look for at least. And uh, that's the connection in the back. And then, this is the actual switch. I will be measure, measuring the switch so that if you, like me, live in a small place, like in an apartment, um, you will, you're limited in space, so every inch counts. So I'll be measuring this as well. So I'm probably going to eventually, one day, not right now, uh, get the Metallic, 
vents. I'm going to eventually get the 10 gig SFP adapter for Ethernet. Uh, I don't need it right now. 2.5 is actually suitable for my needs right now. You know, I um, I actually, you know, uh, just my own view, uh, because of the um, where this is going to be placed, it's going to face out. I always face this to the back like this because I don't like all those wires being shown when I open up my media center uh, area where I have all my devices and my gaming. I have a door and when I open it, you end up seeing all these cables sticking out. So I prefer a switch that has all the ports and power adapter in the back and then make this the front with lights so I can see what's going on without having to look at the front and see the lights on and off here. Um, just my own personal desire to have a uh, actual switch like that. Keep this cover on because that gets very dusty. We're not in use. Now I support VLANs. Um, I'm not using any VLAN. going to fit and the thickness. Eight quarts. So again, I will be uh, doing an updated video after uh, probably a month or so of use. When I get to the point of not being able to return it if it doesn't work. So I'm going to a video then let me let you know how long the cable is so again for placement reasons because I'm limited all this definitely applies to me um, and maybe yourself if you're limited with space and where you have your power source coming from whether you're gonna need an extension cord, so hopefully this will help. And it's a pretty long cable, six feet. And you know, sometimes I do this as well because even plugging it in might actually be an issue. I think I did that already. Okay. kind of want to show you or make you feel like you're doing what I'm doing right now, which is getting a close-up look at everything and how it looks like so that it's like if you were holding it in your own hands. So I hope this was, this is for grounding. I, don't use that. I used to use that at work uh, for larger switches, but it's up to you. 
It's an extra layer of protection. So this was a close-up look at this switch, which, again, I've never heard of this brand. Maybe you have. I don't know. Uh, Steemio? Steemimo. Steemimo. I don't know. I'm probably butchering it. But I hope it actually works. No name brand or actually not very well-known brand switch. Actually not known to me. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye now.